Well, enjoying so much sport in the last couple of weeks with the Olympics football season getting underway as well. A wall-to-wall sport. Something in the Olympics, considering all the sports they have in the Olympics, what about squash? No sign of that in the Olympics. Seems a bit strange to me. Squash is an incredibly popular sport. And right here in Nottingham at the moment, a big squash festival is going on. And to tell us more about it, one of the organisers and world-ranking player, Mark Fuller from Nottingham. Hi, Mark. And uh, fellow professional squash player, uh, Ollie Holland, also from Nottingham. Hello to you. Good to see you. Hello. Uh, And you're playing tomorrow in this uh, festival, aren't you, Ollie? I played tomorrow, yes, my first round. Okay. Uh, Yep. Um, But you played yesterday, Mark, is that right? Yeah, first round of qualification was yesterday. Ollie's uh, Ollie's in the main draw. Oh, right. So you've got to qualify. You're the organiser. That's that's badly organised. Yeah, well, uh, I've given him the wild card because I think he might be uh, be a lot more entertaining for the crowd than I will. (laughs) Uh, It is a spectator sport. Sport, squash. I think people have this image of you know businessmen doing it at the end mm. of a hard day at the office and flicking a towel at each other in the uh, in the dressing room. But it's not really like that. No, right? no, it's definitely uh, on its way up. I mean, with with the breakthrough of sort of all glass courts where all four walls are glass and you can have spectation on all sort of angles is really good to watch. So, and is that how it is at the Nottingham Squash Club? Can, can people get that sort of all round view? We've got. Um... We've got a back wall which is glass, so people can see really well from the back wall. And then along the side, we've got uh, just a balcony, um, and you can go all the way along the side, so you can see it from almost front on, and then every sort of side angle view as well. Right. Not in the Olympics. Is that an uh, annoyance to you guys? Would you? Because if it had been in the Olympics, presumably you could have been going for gold. Uh, very much so. I mean, it's actually uh, squash is one of the high points, sort of in in English terms. I mean, we've got world number one and two in the men's and. I think we've got sort of four or five women in the top ten, so uh, it's a real shame we didn't miss out. But like I say, nothing coming to the about at the minute. So, okay, could that change in the future? Do you think? There's a big campaign to get squash in for 2020. Um, we've got loads of stuff going on to try and promote it. Uh, we've got a big on the 20th of October, I think it is, a big World Squash Day, which will be people playing from all around the world in like a big team event, so the biggest team event there's ever been. So we're hoping hundreds of thousands of squash players from Egypt, Pakistan, uh, all over the world, uh, half of them will be on Team 2020 and half of them will be on Team Olympics. And uh, hopefully, well, we'll have like a scoreboard online and we're hoping that's going to be one of our big selling points to try and get it in. Uh, for this squash festival on in Nottingham to the weekend, uh, what, what can people come along and do? What, what will they see if they come along as a spectator? Give us a picture of it. Um, well, tickets are free uh, all night, um, right up until the Saturday, which is the semi-finals. Um, anyone is free to come along. Uh, it's just at Nottingham Squash Club, which is in the Park Estate, so really close to the town centre. Um, you can find the website really easily through Google, um, and that will give you all the directions. Uh, matches start from 4.30 and will go on till about 8.30, and anyone can, can come down, watch the professionals play, um, and, yeah, hopefully cheer on Ollie tomorrow um, <laughs> when, he, uh, when he takes on, I think, someone ranked 173 in the world. So. Yeah, roughly, yeah. <laughs> so that will be, uh, be quite a tough one for him, but that should be... An awful lot of home support from the Nottingham area and anyone who wants to come down and kind of help Ollie on his way. It'd be brilliant. It's such a, an extreme sport for somebody who, like myself who doesn't play it. You know, when you watch it, it does look as it's incredibly fast, potentially quite dangerous and exhausting. Uh, when you're playing, Ollie, do you, do you have any sense of the crowd around you as a pro? It is a very physically demanding sport. Um, I personally enjoy a crowd, especially a home crowd, uh, which is very common at Nottingham obviously we get a lot of people down so it's really good for me uh, when I go away uh, it can be different but yeah like I said I do prefer a nice big crowd at home so yeah. it's good uh, and um, as, as well as the festival that's going on and the uh, up and coming events there is uh, hope for people such as me who'd like to maybe uh, feel as though they're active in the squash world without playing because you, you're creating a fantasy squash league a bit like the fantasy football league, <laughs> right? yes this is actually my brother's idea and uh he kind of came up with a concept uh, to almost model it on the football and cricket, which obviously are fantastically successful in England, um, and a way for people to kind of get more involved with the professional players, uh, follow them as they play their tournaments all around, all around the world. And uh, we've got so many people in Nottingham that really support us, and it, you know that's, that's kind of the thinking behind it. And we've got that ready to launch on the 1st of September, so that's the... Mantis Fantasy Squash League, uh, and if you type that into Google, that will come up as well. 
OK. And so that's one way of getting people drawn into the world of squash. Also getting youngsters involved. Really important. Uh, uh, in Olympic terms, they talk about the legacy, don't they? So uh, how do you go about making sure that youngsters are, are brought in and given the right start in the world of squash? Um, well, part of the Fantasy Squash Festival that we've got running this week is a junior camp. So the idea was we'd get a professional event in Nottingham. So Mantis... Uh, which is actually a Nottingham-based business, uh, have put up the money. Uh, they make rackets for... Uh, rackets, for bags, um, balls and grips, so oh. loads of equipment for the squash world. And it's a is really... Nottingham the squash capital of the country? It's, it's, it's becoming that way. Like That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, but the, the kind of idea behind what they tried to do and what Fantasy Squash have tried to do is get the professionals down into Nottingham and then get them on court with the juniors during the day. So sessions run from 10 till 12 and then again from 2 till 4. So... There's one running right, right at the moment um, and the professional players will be on with the juniors giving talks over their lunch so on stuff like nutrition and tactics and stuff like that. So the idea was to try and inspire really the, the next generation of people coming up in Nottingham and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get another Ollie Holland on our hands.